In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I believe that Yardy ran one of the best defenses that I've actually seen all season long in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, as we get ready for the club championships coming up next week, I wanted to highlight a couple of the players that will be going into the club championships, but I also wanted to share with you some of the things we might have learned from some of the people who actually didn't make the final cut. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about helping you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. And so if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, Yardy plays a style of football that I actually really, really love to study. It's because he plays different than a lot of people actually played this year. Yardy ran a very heavy pressure and very um, very aggressive style of defense. Not only uh, was it an aggressive style of defense, but it was actually one of the only people in the entire game that ran 3-4 bear. And I thought his defense actually borderline almost won him a game in this game because his offense wasn't great. I felt like his defense was really, really, really good. So we're going to jump right into uh, the breakdown in practice mode over here. Now, really quickly, before we do dive into this, I do want to let you know that if you would like to pick up my my 3-4 Bear defensive ebook, uh, well, it's really my 46 defensive ebook, but it does cover the 3-4 Bear as well as the 3-3-5 and the nickel and the dime and all that stuff. If you want to pick up my full 4-6 defensive ebooks, the best defense in the game, the link is in the description of this video. Okay, but let's jump right in here and dive into this. Now, I'm gonna pull up Gun Bunch just so that you can see this, and we're just gonna come out and play Pat's Sale. Now, 3-4 Bear, and what Yardy did was basically put his fastest guys out on that outside. He had linebackers all over the field, which is one of the first people that I've seen all season long that is doing this. And the next thing that you'll notice is that he actually had under pressure on his outside guys. The reason why is Yardy's mentality was, I'm going to send the goons every single second. If I can get that under pressure to activate, what that's going to mean is my opponent is going to throw some inaccurate balls, maybe throw an interception, or maybe have to take a sack. So that's kind of some of the, the behind-the-scenes items that you want to know about, is you want to put under pressure on all of your outside backers. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually put our ball in air defense to play receiver. Option defense is going to be on cons uh, conservative. And then right here, I'd like to put the curl flats on 25 or 20 uh, for this scheme. And then maybe put the yellows on 5, but for right now, we'll leave them on default. And really, we're going to be in the 3-4 bear pretty much every single play. Now, we're going to put, instead of having pinch Mike O, we're going to put pinch dog 3 right there. And we're going to come out and pinch buck O every single play. The reason why is it's going to give us a specific type of alignment that is going to allow us to send the goons every single play at our opponent. Now, all we're going to do is when we come out to the line of scrimmage, we're simply going to press coverage twice. And you see by pressing coverage twice, it's going to pinch these linebackers in in this really nice little format. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to basically um, kind of choose, pick and choose what we're going to do here. But effectively what we're going to do is we're going to always blitz all of our linebackers and we're going to crash them out. And then we're going to basically play a little bit of a chess match. If our opponent is, if we think our opponent's going to send everybody out on a route, then we might play some type of cover two zone. Something like this right here. Right, some... Throw, throw two soft squats on the outside. Uh, we're going to use the middle of the field, basically. And then we've got that right side taken care of. So if they send everybody out on a route, we're going to scream at our opponent. As you see right there, we're going to get two people free. Now, the beauty of this, this defense, we're actually going to get three people free normally, is let's say that they do something like they max protect and they start blocking everybody. That's where this defense becomes good. It's very good against max protect. What you'll notice here is we're not going to have to put anybody in zone. We're literally just going to stand right here. And as you see, we're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. The pressure is going to come in. And, and what we're going for, especially in Mutt with how fast people are right now um, and how you can get really, really fast linebackers with 90-plus speed on that outside, this pressure is going to come in relatively quickly. Um, and so because it comes in so fast, it's going to be difficult for the opponent to be able to get out of there. Now, the one trick with this pressure that I do want to highlight really quickly for you 
is when you set this up, you want to make sure that you are running straight down with your pump with your user. Okay, if you run and you want to run down and to the left. Okay, that's typically what I like to do. So we're going to run down and to the left. I like to crash my line out. You don't have to do that. But you see, when we run down and to the left, the pressure comes in a lot better and a lot cleaner. Now, again, when they start max protecting, that's where you're sending seven against seven, but you're getting one free. That's the beauty of this blitz. So come in down, and as you see right there, we're going to get that instant heat. Now, if you see them able to be picking up the pressure a little bit, one of the other things that you can do is you can crash your line to the right. A simple crashing of your line to the right and then standing kind of right in here can also help this blitz. You'll see right here, it's going to be able, and that time we actually got picked up a little bit. But typically you're going to be able to, you know, you don't have to do a lot to set this up. That's the beauty of it. It gives you a lot of time to do your pre-snap. Uh, or your, your pre-snap adjustment. So let's say you do something like this right here. And again, you just want to come down and then get out of there. And as you see there, we're going to come out into coverage and we get really, really good and really, really instant pressure. Now, how do you do this from zone? Let's say you want to do it from cover three. I'll audible to pinch dog three. And then literally all I'll do is I'll run this just like this. Now, when I get something like this, I like to take triangle and put him into the deep third, right? So I have just a standard cover three shell. Nothing too crazy, but as you can see, the pressure is going to scream. You're going to get people coming in consistently at the quarterback. And in my opinion, one other setup that you can do, and let's say that they're putting five people out on a route pretty much religiously, like they're almost always going to put, you're like, they're almost always putting five people out on a route. Well, that's where you can do something like this. Um, basically, what I've done is I've taken that right side guy and I've manned him up on the tight end, and then I'm going to crash my line out. Now, all I'm doing is I'm watching that running back. If that running back goes out, I'm just going to run out with him. I'm literally just running straight to the running back. I don't have to come down because I'm still sending that six-man pressure. So as you see right there, um, it's really going to do a good job. Now, the other thing that's really nice about this is let's say they're blocking one person, right? Let's say they're only blocking one person, um, and they're putting their tight end or their running back out on a route. If you see something like this and they're blocking one person, just come down and as you see here, just jet on into coverage. And you see you're still going to get that instant pressure. You're always going to have an advantage from a pressure perspective. Now, every now and then what I like to do is I actually like to mix this up into some coverage. Now, I don't run a lot of coverage. And the reason why I don't run a lot of coverage is because I want to make sure that my opponent is always stressed about the pressure. But one thing you could do is you could go to this cover two invert. And what I'm doing is all I did is I shaded coverage down. And then I'm going to basically put those curl flats out there for my inside linebackers. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that safety and I'm going to put him into the middle third. And we're just going to play coverage defense. This is literally just straight up coverage defense, blitz two people, you know, and we got, you know, decent coverage, just Mabel. That's all it is. It's just Mabel coverage. But you'll find this does a really, really good job. This defense is one of my, it's, it's probably my favorite defense to run in the entire game. Because it's so much fun. You'll have a blast running this defense. And if you want to get the full ebook, the link is in the description below. But really what you want to make sure that you're doing here is you just simply want to make sure that you're changing your adjustments. Every now and then throw some soft squats out there. Right? Something as simple as this right here. And I know, I know you might be saying, ah, well, what if I get burned? You might get burned on this defense. You might. But more, than, more times than not, you're going to have so much pressure. It's going to be hard for them to get the ball off to throw it deep down the field. So that's the 3-4 Bear defense. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we have we will have more on the 3-4 Bear as we continue to discuss not just club series, but defense in general. This is just what I noticed that Yardy was doing. I thought this was very, very effective. And I honestly wanted to say that I think if he would have made a couple of subtle little adjustments and maybe played a little bit better on the offensive side of the ball, he would have been a club champion. Young Tony able to beat him. But... Just so you know, this is his 3-4 uh, bear defense and uh, ran it very, very, very well. If you want to get my version of it and you want to get the rest of my defense of ebook, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of this, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys.